Hey there folks, this is Dan Bell with Interested and today we're going to continue looking at Dynamics 365 uh, configuration settings. Specifically for today we're going to look at configuring the document management capabilities and uh, with regard to uh, DM document management you can actually make it so that you utilize the SharePoint Island capabilities within Dynamics 365 for your document management functionality, right? What that means is you will get all the really robust SharePoint online features such as versioning, check-in and out, sharing and so forth that comes along with SharePoint Alliance. All those really great robust features. The, um, the user experience and user experience you know, documents will be uploaded via the Dynamics 365 interface. They can also be uploaded in the SharePoint interface, but you know, the really great thing is, is that you know, even though you're using the SharePoint Online functionality, you can use the Dynamics 365 interface to keep everything done within D365. Uh, SharePoint server-based integration is required for applications like OneNote, Office 365 Groups, OneDrive, and so forth. Another thing to keep in mind when we're doing this setup is that uh, we're also going to do Officer 65 groups as part of this. And uh, Officer 65 groups allows the collaboration between you, know, you have Dynamics 365 users, and then you may also want to have situations where you have non Dynamics 365 users. So, what, what would that possible scenario look like? Well, just think for a minute that you have a document that goes through a, a routing process to multiple approvers. And you may not necessarily want to buy or purchase or assign a, a Dynamics 365 license to somebody who's just interacting with the document. And in those particular situations, you can allow collaboration between your D365 and non D365 users, right? Uh, another pretty interesting piece of functionality. All right, I'm in my D365 environment. I'm going to navigate up to gear and then select advanced settings. Once in here, I can click. Uh, go ahead and select settings and then look for document management click on that and once in the document management section I'm going to go ahead and select config, configure uh, server based SharePoint integration so we'll select this link here and a little dialog pops up and uh, this one's just noting that we're going to see certain changes take place. We'll just go ahead and click next here. Now is where we're going to select where the SharePoint sites are going to be located. Either it's going to be SharePoint Online or on-premises. We're going to go ahead and leave it with SharePoint Online. Click next again. And here's where we enable the server-based SharePoint integration. So um, what we want to do is enter the URL of the SharePoint site for use with the server-based integration. All you really need to do is uh, and when you log into portaloffice.com or office.com, click on SharePoint, and then in there you can create a site. You really just want to create a team site. And once you create that team site, take that URL, paste it in here, and then go ahead and click Next. And then it'll take a moment, confirm that the URL is either valid or invalid. In our case, it's valid, so we're good to go. And we'll go ahead and select Finish. And that takes care of setting up the integration. And you notice that that link to set up the server-based integration is gone. The next step in this case would be to select the document management settings link here. We'll go ahead and select that. Again, another dialog box pops up here. Just make it a little bit wider. And this is where you can select the entities where document management will be enabled. And you can see the system makes you know, certain calls automatically on some here right um, so you know maybe we want it I don't know you know it's, it's not enabled on contact but default we could enable it on contact if we wanted um, again you can take a look at what has been specified in here and go ahead and add it to the items here right um, you can see account is enabled by default and again it's looking for that same URL we specified in the prior screen we'll paste it in there click next yet again and this next uh, specification, it's selecting the folder structure. So do we want to create a folder structure based on a specific entity? Click the checkbox and select that entity folders will be created on SharePoint in the context of your Microsoft Dynamics records. So no, I do, you know, and it's typically best practice to specify it based on the entity, right? So you can see the folder structure, there will be a folder structure created for account. And then if you've had contact, there'll be contact folder. 
so on and so forth um, such that there will be folders created for each type of entity that you're going to have document management applicable to right pretty straightforward and a really good way to organize things within there we'll click next once more so it's just a message saying that library is being created we can click OK and now you can see all the different libraries that have been created and the status has succeeded on all of them so it looks like it created about 12 different libraries at this point in time we'll go ahead and click finish and it looks like um, you know we've taken care of that so far so we should have libraries that have been created within the system so if I navigate here go ahead and type in that document management in here and here's that site that we had just created within here okay if I clicked on site contents um, you'll go ahead and see that here are all the different folders those I think it was 12 right 12 folders for the different entity types that were going to be created in order to store items within here based on the document management within Dynamics 365 right okay great now if I were to click on account see that there are no accounts here yet the folders are created as you navigate to an account within Dynamics 365 right so if I were to go in here click on fourth coffee sample and then click on files right and click back here you know it's at this point in time when typically when the folder is created and there you can see the folder is created right so typically it takes a few minutes for everything to be set up in its entirety and then for the documents to be able to be uploaded and right, so we'll give this a few minutes to complete and then we'll come back and test all right it's been a few minutes we're going to come back in in here and test to see if document management functionality is working we'll click on the account fourth coffee and the files tab here will be where you can upload your documents and we're on the documents for student grid and if you can see right now documents on default site one and so there is my document associated grid currently there are no documents in here I have the ability to go ahead and initiate creating a new document let's go ahead and upload a document we'll choose one and we'll select the discovery document click open click OK there's my discovery document right we can select it then we can choose to use checkout check-in capabilities um, we can also use some of the other functionality here if we wanted to edit the properties of it uh, if we wanted to open the location that would basically take us to the SharePoint site and the fourth coffee sample folder that I showed you earlier there's the document there and then when we're in the SharePoint site we have all the full capabilities of SharePoint online right including preview if you want to share copy the link in case you want to send the link to somebody else that you want to be able to um, you know utilize the document as well I can download, I can manage the access of it, automate, you know, if you want to request a sign off, if you want to uh, create and manage rules, rename, you know, the version history, if you want to be alerted to when this document is updated by somebody else, you can certainly do that. Workflow capabilities, details of the document. Again, a, a lot is available to be done with the document within SharePoint line, right? Okay, so this is the document, again, um, a lot that we can do here with it. Deselect the document. And go ahead and upload another one choose file we can bring up the requirements session agendas there's the second document you can select two at a time and do multiple things to documents at the same time and yeah, there you go pretty straightforward you know, again we can go to another one here if we really wanted to um, you know again we see the fourth coffee sample would grow over the only two created if I were to go and say well let's look at adventure works and click on files we can go back here and see that we should see adventure works right now if we wanted to upload something here I certainly could I can upload the vision scope document type B here and I can work directly in the document library in SharePoint if I come back here and I like to see well did the document get uploaded here well if I just refresh go back to files I can see there's the document I uploaded via SharePoint rather than here. I could have refreshed just as easily here, right? Instead of there, uh, whichever was more convenient for you. And again, that's basically how the SharePoint document management features are enabled within Dynamics 365 utilizing SharePoint Online. Hope you enjoyed this and learned something from it. If you have any other suggestions or videos, be sure to let us know. Otherwise, we will see you in a subsequent video. Thanks for watching.